with the idea to organize a chamber music festival to simply promote the joy of music making and engaging with the public. I decided to focus on French music because for me French music is really inspiring music and in a way fresh. That's also why I called this festival Joie de Vivre because it really connects to this French joy of living. And I really wanted to create something that embodies this feeling and brings it to the audience. First of all, music for me is a language. And it makes it a big difference when you play solo and you basically speak alone. Rather, you play chamber music and you have a dialogue. This festival means an incredible journey of the friendship and musical partnership, I would say. Making music to me is one of the greatest joys in life and it has always been. I feel personally very, very drawn to the chamber music setting and I am at the same time very drawn to French repertoire. So when I got asked by Noah last year to be part of this new festival, I was excited from the very first moment. One of the best things that happened to me personally last year was performing again after a prolonged lockdown. It was a very immense privilege. Well, I guess that these days, probably more than ever, we get to feel how playing music together with dear friends is not only our job, but really a great part of our joy in life and I have great admiration for the Joie de Vivre Festival and Noah, who's organizing it, to have the courage to uh, actually pull up a new thing in these times. It's, uh, it's, it's meaningful. Being a musician means to dedicate your life to music. Therefore, whenever you get to make music together, this is a really nice experience. I'm very grateful for these young musicians to join the festival and I look very much forward to sharing the stage with them.